Welcome back to Roma's Kitchen guys. So today I'll be teaching you how to use these sorrel petals to make some sorrel drink the simplest way. So if you want to see how this gets made Roma's Kitchen style, stick around right after this intro. <laughs> So this is about a pound and a half of fresh sorrel petals and of course you can use the dried sorrel petals if those are what you have and I have just little spices here because I do not like a sorrel that's overly spiced. Now I have here boiling six to seven cups of water and to this I'm going to be adding in some cinnamon sticks then i'm going to be going in with six cloves and cloves are very strong so you do not want to add too much cloves to your sorrel next i'm going to be going in with three quarter cups of grated ginger you do not want to sleep on your ginger add as much ginger as you can take in your sorrel sorrel should be nice and gingery and it's better to grate your ginger and add it to it next i'm going to be adding in the sorrel petals and ensure that you wash your sorrel petals real good before you add it to your water because this is what you'll actually be drinking at the end of the process now as i was saying guys about the spices for the sorrel i've been drinking and making sorrel for as long as i can remember but i just do not like a sorrel that has several things in it so if you've made sorrel before let me know in the comment section down below what are some things that you add to your sorrel when you're making it So now that the sorrel and the spices are all in, I'm just going to allow this to come to a boil. Now as soon as you see that your sorrel has come to a boil, you want to turn your stove off because we do not want to boil the sorrel really. We want the sorrel to be nice and steeped. So you just want to turn the stove off and the water is nice and hot. Then what you're going to do is you're actually going to cover this in jamaica we call this drawing the sorrel but you might know it as steeping the sorrel so my pot has just a little opening there so i'm just going to cover that and i'm just going to let this sit in a cool place overnight now the next day my sorrel is nice and steeped and it's now time for me to separate the sorrel pulps, the cinnamon stick, the cloves, and the ginger from the liquid because the liquid is all that will be needed. And guys, if you use some dried sorrel, it will be way darker than this. So here I have a clean container on my strainer. And I'm just going to strain everything, you know, get rid of the pulp and all of that. And overall, you might just want to strain this twice. I really like the color that this has it's nice and dark so now I'm going to think about sweetening my sorrel now if you've never had sorrel before sorrel is something that's tangy so you might not want to have your sorrel just like this you want to sweeten it so you can just get that nice flavor from it right you can enjoy your sorrel so I'm going to be sweetening with some brown sugar you can use granulated sugar if that's what you have. Mm -hmm. 
and here I'm going in with my two cups of brown sugar now this section is 100% up to you this is according to your liking of course you do not need to make this overly sweet you can add a little sugar first then you can taste it add a little more taste it because remember you can always add more sugar but you cannot take out the sugar okay guys so here I'm just mixing everything together I'm just going to mix until all the sugar has been nice and dissolved so guys let me let you in on my secret i do not like my sorrel with any form of liquor that's no wine no rum so let me know in the comment section what you think about that and how you like your sorrel now if you're going to be giving this to kids or someone that's pregnant for example you might just want to make it this way the non-alcoholic way and when you're ready to drink your glass of sorrel, you can just add your liquor as you please and as you go along. This way you do not have to make two, three separate batches of sorrel. So mine is almost finished mixing out. And guys, you can actually leave this sorrel for a few months. To actually ferment and it's also very good just like that so here you have it guys nicely served you need to serve this chilled this is Jamaican sorrel Roma's kitchen style non-alcoholic version so if you like the video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to share the video subscribe to the channel and turn your post notifications on until next video